So we potentially have a huge Path of Titans update in the near future. An update that will be bringing a lot of new stuff to the game. And well, how do I know this? Well, it's very important that if you look onto the public test branch for the game and all the updates that are being released in there, you'll be seeing and noticing that these updates are getting bigger and bigger. Now, some of them just include standard change logs where it's just bug fixes and tweaks, but some of them do include some brand new and very interesting stuff that I'll be talking about today in this video. I'm also going to be talking a little bit about consoles as well because we have not really some news but it's something that could hint towards further news in the future depending on how it goes. Now of course you probably clicked it for the title and thumbnail which will be about consoles. It's not confirmed, bear in mind. However the timestamps for everything are on the screen now so you can go ahead and go to that specific part and find out what I'm talking about. If you are new to the channel feel free to like and subscribe for more Path of Titans and other upcoming dinosaur game news that you guys will definitely like. Anyways let's dive right into this. Path of Titans updates recently have been mentioning changes to the world for the game with some key updates and tweaking overall the feel of the game which is quite important for me to note. We saw this recently with one of the new updates come to the game when it came to something like cliffs. We saw new cliffs, we saw updates to the cliffs where they mo rolled out onto the main version of the game. There were different colours of the rocks on the cliffs, some areas had red rocks depending on where they were, some of them were more grey and some of them were more browny depending on their situation. Now we have had some updates to the beaches of Pandora now, I'll see if I can get some screenshots or videos of them on the screen now for you guys to have a look at. There's also been updates to the water as well, which for the water I do believe it's the lighting for the water, so it's a lot harder to see, especially if you are on PC. Here's a screenshot which I took from the Path of Titans uh, public test server screenshots where people can post their screenshots and share them. The user who posted it, their name is also there as well. So it's evident in the screenshot that lakes are darker now and water is darker, so it'll be a lot harder to find a prowling Sarko, which now I have to change my tactic for when I'm drinking because I used to be able to kind of figure out how to do it but now I don't know how to do it. However, we also have some information about lighting for this game because holy moly, the lighting looks absolutely incredible now. What have they done? They've updated the lighting, but what specifically have they done? Obviously, this is a screenshot from someone. I don't know if this is in the screenshot editor or they've edited it. I'm going to try and figure out if I do get some video footage, you'll be on the screen now as well. But holy moly, that is going to absolutely burn some PCs that, well, run the game on Epic while streaming. Not even on Cinematic, which is sadly my PC. I won't be able to play this game anymore because of this, which is quite funny. But the new updates to the shorelines and beaches make the sand look a lot cooler and a lot nicer. A lot more detailed on the Pandora map overall. Something I believe is universal across all lakes and beach areas or shoreline areas on the Pandora map. Another thing that I do want to say that the developers did say, they have completed their first pass for interactive foliage. This means that we could be getting more food and stuff or more items that you could interact with maybe for quests and maybe stuff like that. Maybe trees you can knock over. I don't know what this means. Maybe it's a hint towards nest building. I'm not too sure. However, those are the big map updates for this video and for these change logs. There's a lot there to go over and a lot to wrap your head around. I tried to rattle through it. Of course, you would have to go through it yourself to obviously see what you think about it. One thing that we do see updates for here is the brand new Allosaurus model which I'm going to go over as well but firstly I just want to say look at the absolutely beautiful background to this world. It looks absolutely incredible. I'm going to have a really quick look at this uh, in this view but geez it looks so much nicer now. It, it just is absolutely beautiful here. The lighting is really nice. I really like it. Yeah. They have definitely changed the beaches a lot, and it's very evident here. So, this is the Allosaurus. The Allosaurus has added some new subspecies, which are evident here. I have a full video going over these, and you should go and drop that video of you, because it's definitely recommended. The Allosaurus overall now looks pretty much complete. It also has some animations. There's a video by Jay Tano, I believe, which showcases all these new animations, which I recommend as well. 
But yeah, let's just go ahead into the next part, which we talk about quests. Now we also have, coming off from the Allosaurus, we have some quests. We are seeing new quests come to the game, more updates regarding the quests coming to the game. And yes, I cannot say that word for some reason. It's probably just a lisp, which is a shame. Uh, which, this has all been released into the public test rank for the game. Firstly, we saw a rework of the quest screen overall adding local world quests to the area these are specific quests to do with specific areas of the map once you are in those specific areas these include like the likes of water quality and waystone quests i assume there'll be more coming to the game in the future more local area quests as well i'm not too sure i believe they said they added new ones i haven't found out what these new quests are so i would love to know what what are these new updates to these specific locations what quests are they so we have updates to these quest locations these are now quests to these locations fine lizard lagoon grassland lake bower brook lake swamp reservoir riverland lake pleasant and talons point and the devs say there are a whole bunch more which have been added they say they've added it for more points of interest which means there's a whole bunch more there as well to add to this yarrow and red ginger now class as flowers for delivery quests which means you can deliver these items like you were unable to before now you can which is very nice and they count towards the flower part and things for that non-aquatic dinosaurs can now collect items while swimming the example the developers gave here was lake weed which i assume is a brand new quest item in the game which is of course called lake weed and it's kind of like seaweed but in the lake this could end up being food as well for semi-aquatic creatures like dino which is a herbivore or omnivore piscivore kind of thing i assume it might be able to eat this lake weed as well Basically, we are slowly seeing more and more quests get rolled out for the public test onto Path of Titans, which could be the big quest update for the game, which is very exciting to me and definitely is something that I can't wait to see come to the game eventually and just excites me overall for the life of this game. I can't wait for these to come to the official branch for the game as well. I wonder how many quests there will be. Now here we are, the news that you have probably skipped all the way to, I know you have, I see you here skipping all the way to the console part of the video. God, I mean, I can't really blame you, I probably would as well, but we do actually have a little bit of news. It's not really massive news, but it's something that is worth speculating over for you guys. Now, remember, this does not confirm consoles at all. This is not a confirmation that Path of Titans will be coming to consoles. We don't have that official information. This is is just a hint as to what the developers might plan on doing for that in the future so on july 13th the developers of the game posted an announcement saying this as a reminder we're looking for more information about what platform types path of titans players own please answer our questions here if you haven't filled it out already on the survey your answers will help path of titans development thank you this survey was posted last year so we are reposting it for the Path of Titans community. Now, of course, this is something that has been circulating for a while. However, the idea that they have posted this now as a repost means that there is renewed interest by the developers in looking at what the players play on console wise they're specifically asking about xbox series x playstation xbox one xbox series s and the old stuff like that which is very interesting so it's very exciting to see of course i filled out that survey and i filled it out obviously because i own an xbox one and an xbox series x which i would love to help test the developers on in the future now it does look to me the devs are looking towards consoles in the future however we can't specifically say that they are because well clearly we don't know that they are just yet because they haven't specifically said anything about consoles apart from this survey please do remember this does not mean consoles are confirmed it just means the developers have a renewed interest in looking at consoles and specifically what consoles players own so go and fill out that survey it's very important that you do go and fill it out because it could mean the devs interest in this peaks even more we'll have to wait and see and now 
we get to probably one of the biggest parts of this video, which is just going over the overall change logs for Path of Titans public test branch. Now, I'll be going from the 26th of June, and I'll be talking about specific parts of these updates while having the change log for each specific one on the screen while I talk about it. Now, I'll be going full a hand through of the, what I think is the most important things for these updates. So I'm only going to be mentioning the most important things. You can pause the screen and read through it if you really desire. But let's just go ahead and go right through it. So firstly, patch 13578 added Allosaurus subspecies, added Allosaurus animations, updated buttons that the ability icons will display, shortcut icons display size is now consistent across different menus and buttons. Patch 13609, mod item UI updates, a bunch of fixes for the gamepad detection, which I believe is for controllers. Patch 13633, Fix U object log spam. Fix for ability input keys being white on mobile and reduce the respawn rate of shellfish. Patch 13640. Windows version of the game now supports PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 controllers without the need of a third party evaluation software. Android no longer has a two step download process and there's a fix for 3D map markers showing in character character menus. Patch 13705 adds work in progress quests to point of interest areas, updated Pandora lighting and water, updated Pandora beaches, work in progress replacement of quest items to food items and now Patch 13732, which adds more gamepad navigation improvements, which, like I said, is for controllers. Red Ginger is now deliverable as a flower. Replaced all old quest items with food assets as well. Finally, we have patch 13846, which is the biggest patch yet, which is absolutely massive. There'll be two screenshots for this one because it's huge. But this adds a brand new mute system to the game, Updated Pandora with first pass at interactive foliage, added new quests to Pandora, fix for player not receiving a group invite if their slot count would fill up the group, which is a known bug and one that I really dislike. Non-aquatic dinosaurs can now use objects while swimming, several playlist updates, improvements to player list in social menu, improvements with navigation in social menu for game pads, and Delivering an item to a delivery point that is active for multiple quests will now contribute to multiple quests rather than just the one. This is my most important things from these updates. There's obviously going to be more important things in them that I've missed out, so feel free to pause them and read through them. That last one definitely deserves a pause to look over. But what do you guys think about these change logs? They're absolutely huge and they add so much variety to the game. A whole bunch of bug fixes, a lot of new things squeezed in there as well. And it could be a big, big indication that we are getting something to the game soon because obviously every time we see big updates coming to the main branch of the game it's always preceded by some rumbling and big updates coming to the public test branch where they just release a whole bunch of fixes sneak in some new things and then release them all to the big branch in a big update which is definitely something that we could be seeing in the future let me know your thoughts in the comments down below guys but other than that I'll, I hope you enjoyed the video. That's it for this news video. It's a very big news video for Path of Titans today. I know I've got a lot to go over for you guys. And yeah, I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you all had a great time watching this video. I'm going to have a pain editing this one. I know I will. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are new to the channel, feel free to stick around. I upload videos three times a week, stream three times a week. And I uh, keep you up to date with all things dinosaur game and might be moving to Camp Cretaceous soon. Other than that, guys, I do hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll be seeing you all, hopefully, in the next one. Have a great day. Peace.